Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Reckless Love by Stephanie Gretzinger on guitar. Here are the parts. That's the whole thing. So if you like this video, please give me a like, and also feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of these. All right, this is a very, very simple song. Capo four, and there's basically, there's two parts. Here are the chords on the capo four. If in the capo four position, the chords are E minor, D, C, G, that's for the intro, so that's, and the strumming is like, D, so E minor. intro and the choruses. Okay, the verses are the same chords except you don't do the G, so it's E minor, D, and then what I'm hearing is a C chord is usually you have your uh, ring finger on the third fret from the, you know, capo, on the third fret of the uh, A and your middle finger on the second fret of the D and your pointer finger on the first fret of the B, but it seems like on the way they're doing it, they don't have the pointer finger on that on that second fret of the B, they're just doing those first two strings. That's what it sounds like to me, so it's, the verses sound like this. So it's an E minor, D, and then this partial C. It sounds really cool. song. I mean, they, you know, they build up dynamics and all that good stuff, and, but that's pretty much the song. But, if you want to learn to improvise a little bit, if you want to make, you know, add some of your own guitar licks, there's, there's a cool little thing you can do here. You can use the minor, the, uh, the, what's called the Aeolian scale, the G sharp Aeolian scale. And that is, and I'll, I'll walk you through it real quick. It's, put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the E. Okay, and then this is without the capo. Take the capo off of this part. So on the on the fourth fret of the E, and then you can pick the next the next note will be the sixth fret of the E, and then the seventh fret of the E, and then the A string the same three three notes the fourth fret of the A, the sixth fret of the A, and the seventh fret of the A. So the next two notes there's only two notes in the next one is uh, put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the D and the sixth fret of the D. So. And then, so you get two there, and then you get the three notes on the next one on the G, take your pointer finger, put it on the third fret of the G, put it on the fourth fret of the G, and then put it on the sixth fret of the G. So, so four, five, four, six, seven, A, four, six, seven, four, six, three, four, six, and then you go to the, the B string, and you're on the fourth fret, and then the fifth fret and the seventh fret. And on the E string, you have the fourth fret, the sixth fret, and the seventh fret. Just like you did at the very beginning. So that that scale is. And so you can do what I do is I usually alternate pick. And then you can do little, you know, pull offs and hammer ons. So listen to what it sounds like when you do that, when you use that scale.
where the singing stops and you want to have a little guitar solo for just for to make it different, then you can do that. That is the lesson. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a like. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be great so you can see more of these. Thanks so much. Have a great day jamming out with this song.